Hello, I'm Carolyn Monahan, and I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications for the West Coast Chamber. In today's member question of the day, we are talking about legal considerations as businesses are reopening. For assistance with those questions, I am joined by Don Lawless, who's a partner with Barnes & Thornburg, which is a national legal firm, and he is based out of their Grand Rapids office. So hi, Don, and thanks for being with me today. Well, hey, it's uh, Caroline. It's my pleasure to be here, and I appreciate the opportunity to provide some input. Our members will appreciate your time as well. So let me get started by asking you, do businesses still need to be conducting pre-screening for their employees at work? The short answer is yes, uh, Caroline. Uh, the uh, Executive Order 2020-114 is still in effect that's been issued by the governor. And it still states the general rule that all business uh, operations that require employees to leave their home you know, must add a minimum, and it's got you know, a pretty lengthy checklist. And one of those requirements is conduct a daily entry self-screening protocol. And that applies whether you're running a farm or a restaurant or a manufacturer. Um, there are particular rules related to each. And depending upon the type of business, there's going to be some add-ons. But that daily screening protocol, whether it involves a temperature check or not, will vary based on your business. Uh, but, but all of those are still in effect, despite the general reopening of restaurants and people are feeling, is, is this really necessary? You know, the presumption still is that if anybody can work from home, they need to, and that uh, people are only going to venture out to work uh, if, if they're required to do so. Well, thanks, Don. I really appreciate you being here with me today, and I know our members are going to find this information really valuable. Well, again, it's my pleasure, and I'm happy to help anytime.